We have eight projects that you can make and sell with the X-Tool F1 Ultra, and we'll show you what they are right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? So do we. And we have new videos each week. This week, we're testing out eight projects that we can make and sell using the new X-Tool F1 Ultra. If you've seen our promo video or X-Tool's release video, then you probably already know all the new features and functionalities of the X-Tool F1 Ultra. In this video, we thought we would put all those features and functionality to test and create eight projects that you can make and sell with the F1 Ultra. Project number one, slate coasters. This is the project that I was most excited about because these aren't your ordinary slate coasters with the scoring on the top. These are deep embossing. So these have 3D, it's like a 3D relief. Yes. And these were so easy to do using Xtool Creative Space and their little uh, extra tools for helping you do the deep emboss. I mean, it was super easy. So they're AI tools, right? Yeah, as part yeah. of their AI tool suite. So we created the Fox and then we used their tools to make it a deep emboss. And then we just threw it on the coaster using the Kim's infrared, got the speed and settings. Yeah. <laughs> the infrared laser or the fiber laser. That's what we use to do the engraving. Garrett tested it, the depth. It's at 2.3 millimeters deep. Yeah, so I was impressed how deep it went. And this took, so we did a smaller image. I didn't do the full four inches, but what you see there is a 46 minute engrave, but it's amazing. It's the amazing. detail yeah. detail in this is just, I mean, I'm so impressed. See the wood grain and everything back there. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Wow. The, this is the one he was most excited yeah. about. I mean, you can do a whole booth out for the slate stuff, not just coasters, but bigger items. I'm sure those would sell. They look great. Rock, they also do brass. You can also emboss on brass and other metals. So go ahead. So project number two, <laughs> you can make coins like the challenge coins. We use the same deep embossing technique, but we put it on this, what I thought was a brass coin. Apparently it was brass plated, but it still did some really cool, like in depth embossing. I mean, it's super cool. It almost looks holographic to me. Right, it, it really, with this coin, now I understand that if we were using a solid brass coin, you would really get the the difference in depth closer to what you're getting on that slate coaster. Maybe not quite that deep. Yeah, not that deep. But you would get the embossing effect. This also has it, it's just not quite as deep, but it has some amazing detail Crazy to it. Crazy detail. And it really does, like he said, it almost looks holographic. You can see the detail here. Now with the coin, and the engraving on the coin, the coaster was only 46 minutes. The coin took three hours to engrave this small image. So you're not pumping out a ton of these, but you may not always need this kind of a detail in this challenge coin. I think the coins would be really cool items to sell. Maybe not a ton of them with <laughs> this kind of detail on them. <laughs> Project number three, jewelry and wax stamps. This is mainly about the deep engraving that this thing can do. So they have the deep emboss, which is like 3D relief, but then they have a deep engrave, which is engraving just deep. Like this is not wearing off. Right. And that makes it great for something like a wax stamp. So if you've seen any of the promotional t materials for the F1 Ultra, you've probably seen this image and that wax stamp. We were able to replicate that using the little wax stamp and the brass head on that. And it really does have a deep engrave. This is also great for jewelry, like Garrett said. You can put this on necklaces. You can even put this on like a signet ring with a deep engrave. This isn't just scratching the surface. This is definitely gonna be engraved in there nice and deep and it's not going anywhere. It's not gonna wear off over time. Yes, you can definitely feel the deep engrave, whereas with the other F1 or the, the IR laser, mm -hmm. it would just etch it and you could barely feel it. This is definitely pronounced. This is a pronounced engraving. This deep engrave is going to take some time because it is cutting out a lot of material. So this took about one hour and 21 minutes and eight passes. Project number four, metal ornaments. Now the big part of this is that this thing can cut through metal. This is 0.23 millimeters and this took a little over an hour. Yes, I mean, it can cut through 
very, very thin metal. Now I tried this piece here. This was 0.45 millimeters. Uh, it's pretty, it's pretty substantial. Yeah. I did run it for three hours and it did not come through. Uh, it it, it came pretty close. close. I mean, you can see the round circle outline and I bent it a little because I can, I feel like I can almost pop it out of there. But again, it took three hours to um, attempt to cut through this much of it. But in just over an hour, I know this is tiny, but it has tons of cuts to it. Um, but I think it would be kind of cool to add this tree. This is what I had envisioned. Mm -hmm. Add it to the back of my ornament and add metal to your ornaments. Uh, again, just metal accents, really. Yes, yeah. it's not going to be a fast engrave, but I think you could add some cool metal features to some ornaments that you ha I have not been able to do before. So um, I thought it was pretty cool, I and I think I can buy this in larger sheets and run a bunch of them, just oh, keep yeah. running them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Project number five, groomsmen gifts, like flasks or tumblers, anything stainless steel really, because you can do color engraving on stainless steel. So this is an image that I pulled right off of the Xtool website. It's a groomsman's gift item with some deer antlers. It engraved it in blue. So based on the different, what is it? Frequencies, frequencies that you would run this at, uh, will give you different color engravings, which I think is really cool. I've seen some really neat uh, jewelry items with multiple different colors. This one's just in blue, but I think that'll be really cool. You could you could batch these things out and produce a lot of them and sell them as bundles of gifts for special occasions, just like you said, groomsmen's gifts, wedding gifts, those kinds of things. This one took about 58 seconds to engrave. It was really very quick. Project number six, metal business cards. Metal business cards might not sound exciting, but being able to batch them out is very exciting. Now, we were able to test out the new F1 Ultra's conveyor feeder for automated batching. You can batch without the conveyor. You can place multiple items right on the base plate of the F1 Ultra, and it will recognize each of the different object shapes and engrave each one of them no matter which position it is laying on the bed. Project number seven, laser engraved photo acrylic keychains. Not just any photo engraved, but crazy detailed photo engraved acrylic keychains. Yes, the image that Garrett is showing is a stock image that Xtool provided that we could try out. And it is amazing. The detail in this photo is just, it's just beyond, my comprehension, I had no idea that it could engrave with that kind of detail. I think I can see his eyelashes. <laughs> so I think, you know, we haven't talked yet about being able to transport this thing. It is not as light and portable as the F1 is, but it is portable enough. You can see the size of this machine. I can pick it up. Uh, so I think this is something that you could take with you to a craft show. Someone right. provides you a photo, you upload it, you can engrave a photo that size. I could snap a photo with my with my phone, use the Xtool Creative Space app on my phone to send it over here and engrave it out. Boom, hand them custom thing. How long did this take? Less than two minutes. Less One than minute two and minutes. 53 seconds. I mean, that's impressive. And I bet you something like that would draw people into your booth. Be like, oh, wait, what? For sure. You got that in like two minutes? That's crazy. It's personalized keychain in two minutes with my face on it. I'm impressed. Yeah, super impressed. <laughs> Project number eight, leather hat patches. Leather hat patches are hot right now. Everybody seems to be doing them. And this one does them super fast. I think this was like, what, 28 seconds? Yes. To pump this out. Throw them on the conveyor belt and you could pump out hundreds of them yeah, in just a couple of minutes. This turned out to be my favorite project out of the bunch because I, mean, I just was super impressed. Now this, it, this leather patch uh, is also a product that Xtool offers, but it engraves silver. So it is a black patch. When you engrave it, it shows silver. So this is a silver image on the patch now. And with it being less than 30 seconds, I could just keep dropping these things on the conveyor and be able to pump out so many. Oh like man, you, you can make custom hats on the spot in your booth. Yeah. That's... With any kind of image. They can give with me an image. Oh, I can yeah. upload it even and do it custom right there, mm -hmm. right then and there. Yeah. 
That again is cool too. Mm -hmm. Project number nine, wooden ornaments. So I was very curious, would this thing cut wood? We do a lot with wood, especially MDF. So will it cut eighth inch MDF? Yes, it cuts it beautifully, fairly quickly. No problem. Quarter inch, it also cut quarter inch MDF. Did pretty good. Because the beam isn't pointed straight down at the material, it's kind of coming from the center and cutting around. There is a slight angle on the quarter inch. It's, it's noticeable on the quarter inch. I don't think you can really notice it on the eighth inch. But on the quarter inch, it's you can notice the angle the laser comes in at. So your hole is a little beveled, I guess you'd call it. And so is the piece that came out. But it will cut it. Project number 10, honorable mention, tumblers. Now I didn't get a chance to try out the RA2 Pro rotary tool, uh, but I couldn't leave this project in this video without letting you know that it is compatible with your rotary tool. So if you have this with any of your other XTool products, it will work with the F1 Ultra as well and will do an amazing job doing tumblers, any kind of cylindrical object, uh, rings, jewelry, tumblers, glass, all of those things. This tool, this laser will engrave them using this tool. I just didn't get a chance to try it. Big thanks to our friends over at Xtool for sending us the F1 Ultra to test some things out. And bigger thanks to our Hanger fam over on Patreon. Those are the people that make this channel possible. Big thanks. We are about out of time. I gotta go make some more slate coasters with that deep and bossing. And I'm gonna go get that conveyor working so that I can make some more of these hat patches. I think these things are pretty cool. So we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. Oh, and don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and tick that bell to be notified of our new videos each week, if you're still here. <laughs> do it, build it, make it. If you think that we created, it, do it, build it, make it. With Kim and Garrett Mason. Step four. Now we paint.